Melanie, on. Oh. Thank you. A net zero target is right, but we must be aware that time is fleeting in our battle to tackle the climate emergency. The greenhouse element of carbon dioxide is not a tap that we can turn off. Approximately a fifth of the carbon dioxide emitted in the last year will remain in the atmosphere for thousands and thousands of years. The damage we cause now will not go away if we decide to start acting responsibly in, say, 31 years' time. It will become a feature of human life for millennia. The cumulative nature of climate change means that the more radical we are now, the less radical future generations will have to be to stop even more catastrophic change and fix our damage already caused. The climate emergency has climbed up the agenda over the past months, but it's far from a new issue. The last IPPC synthesis report came out over five years ago. The government's had plenty of time to digest the findings of that report and implement <coughs> the drastic policies that we need to tackle climate change. But, sadly, that is not what we have seen. We have seen the end of the White Rose Carbon Capture and Storage Project, the end of solar subsidies, the end of support for biomass, selling off of the Green Investment Bank, giving up on zero carbon homes, uh, stopping the Swansea <coughs> Tidal Lagoon, cancelling the green tax target and continuing fracking against local opinion in different areas around the country, causing increased uh, ground tremors and still we see the government stubbornly refusing to lift their ban on cheap and green onshore wind, led by a Prime Minister who said that wind farms couldn't lift the skin off a rice pudding. Acting on climate change is not just necessary to protect our future, but can also provide future-proofed and sustainable jobs for many of our communities. And we've seen glimpses of that prosperity already through the wonderful work of companies like Ørsted um, in my Great Grimsby constituency that have just opened a new £14 million East Coast hub, which I was very pleased to open, and work with local schools and colleges to train the next generation of workers ready for a green economy. But it seems to me that we do have a Prime Minister and a government that seem genetically opposed to taking even <laughs> sensible decisions to protect the planet. We do need a drastic change in governance if we are to avoid even more catastrophic damage to our planet. Yeah.